Okay, so we're back at the drawing board and here we have the uh, box that we made for the square rectangular shaped uh, filter. And uh, as demonstrated, these corners conflict with the bottom because of the round shape of the cowling. I thought I had measured for that and I thought I had taken that into consideration, but really um, I did not give it enough thought. That's just what it really boils down to. So I have something that's potentially functional if the cowling was deeper, um, but it's just not going to work right now. I'm kind of proud of this, but it's going to just be a, on a bookshelf for now. I like this little bell crank contraption for the old air door. Worked out pretty well. Um, but yeah, this is going to have to go. In the other video, I talked about how this thing was a piece of trash and how I didn't like it and it's not going to work and I was unhappy with it. Now, what I can do is I can shorten this base plate where the tape edge is. That is an inch and a half. So I can take an inch and a half off the base plate, which would eliminate the old air door. And I can take about three quarters of an inch off the inlet. And that'll shorten this by two and a quarter inches, which I think will be enough for us to put that flex pipe in line. So we're gonna cut this off, we're gonna cut this off, and we're gonna start fabricating new pieces and we'll hopefully get this back in service. So I started to do some surgery on this uh, conical air box and um, shortened it a little bit. I don't know, it's still kind of, you know, this the way this will mount, I'm still gonna have this much area here down closer to the cowling and I just don't want that. So I put this down and I went and I did some research and I came up with something that I can just simply buy. Might have to do a little bit of modification and I think it might work. Here it is. Spectre makes a four inch air box with a three inch inlet on either side. So it comes with a conical filter. This is a washable, reusable uh, type filter and it just simply drops in. And then you've got this uh, coupling clamp here that holds the whole box together. Now one thing is I may, I can shorten this a little bit on both sides, shorten it on the other side to kind of shorten the overall length of the air box if I need to. But you can see in here, I've got plenty of room to make just a little bit of an adjustment. I wasn't sure how this would work, so I got a hold of Don over at Airflow Performance and asked him. Um, he, has, he said he has not tested one of these but if I sent it to him, he'd put it on the bench and flow test it. But I don't know how it could have any restriction. I mean, it's, it's a straight shotgun uh, right into the throttle body of the fuel controller. So, um, so the way this will attach, uh, I was gonna have a little bit of a challenge trying to attach this to the fuel controller. I could not find a flange uh, that would fit onto the square face of the fuel controller with a three inch uh, lip or flange. So I had this flange here laying around, which is for a piece of uh, skeet tube, scat tube. And it's pretty substantial. This is about 0.62, uh, it's 6160. Then I also just took a piece of 0.05 aluminum, 6160, and I just installed some uh, number 4-5 rivets and riveted the whole thing together. I considered welding this plate to the flange, but I'm not that great with welding aluminum and uh, this really, I think, will do the job. So this will attach to the fuel controller. There'll be a coupling in between. The air box will go into the coupling there will be a piece of uh, skeet tube here. And then this will be the tube that comes in from the nose bowl. So let's see if we can finally make this air box debacle 
over once and for all. Okay, well, I wish I had good news. This isn't gonna work. That sucker looks cool, but I'm still hitting. And here's the problem. The problem is, even if I could get this up somehow, maybe even if it was on an angle, this bottom of this fuel controller is still gonna hit this cowling. It's not gonna hit it. It's gonna be within a quarter of an inch or so, because look how much room I've got. I gotta go, still gotta go this far up. There's only one way to solve this problem. It's the thing I've been trying to avoid from the beginning. And that is, I'm gonna to have to put a blister on the bottom. This is the air inlet that comes with the kit that I did not use. I'm not gonna use that. But I'll probably make a uh, fiberglass blister. I'm gonna to have to cut it. I'll cut it right here and then go all the way back. Take it all the way down. Try to make it look good. Damn. Delayed again. Yeah, this is just uh, furthering the delay of me getting this thing out of here. I've got, uh, I've got a trailer ready to go to, to take it up to Statesville. I've got a spot up there for the fuselage to go into. Uh, I thought that was gonna happen maybe middle of next week. It's gonna be another 10 days or more to fab up a blister for the bottom of this cowling. Oh God. Plus I still got more things to do to wrap this thing up. Anyway, I'm rambling. Put it into this video. Hopefully soon I'll have a part three for this.